A region of interest, or ROI analysis, is a method of extracting data from a subset of voxels, also called a mask. One way to create a mask is to use an atlas, or a map that partitions the brain into anatomically distinct regions. Another technique is called the spherical ROI approach, in which a sphere of a given radius is centered at a triplet of specified X, Y, and Z coordinates. These coordinates are often based on the peak activation of another study that uses the same or a similar experimental design to what you are using. In this tutorial, you will learn how to do both types of ROI analysis. FSL has many atlases already installed, which you can access through Fossilize. First, load the MNI template that you normalized your data to. Then, click on Settings, OrthoView 1, and select the Atlas panel. It will open up a new window called Atlases. By default, the Harvard-Oxford cortical and subcortical atlases will be loaded. You can see how the atlas partitions the brain by clicking on the Show Hide link next to the atlas name. The Harvard-Oxford atlas is a probabilistic atlas, which means that the voxel at the center of the crosshairs in the viewing window is assigned a probability of belonging to a brain structure. To save one of these regions as a mask, click on the Show Hide link next to the region you want. In our example, let's say we want to use the paracingoate gyrus. Clicking on the link will show that region overlaid on the brain, as well as loaded as an overlay in the Overlay List window. Click on the disk icon next to the image to save it as a mask. Save it to the Flanker directory and call it PCG. Once you've created the mask, you can then extract each subject's contrast estimates from it. For the incongruent minus congruent contrast estimate, for example, you can find each subject's data maps in the directory flanker second level dot gfeet cope three dot feet stats. My preference is to extract data from the Z statistic maps, since they are standardized and easy to interpret. We will need to merge all of the Z statistic maps into a single data set. To do this, we will use a combination of FSL commands and Unix commands. For more details about how this command works, see the link for the book chapter in the More Info box down below. Move the allzstats.nai.gz file up three levels so that it's in the main Flanker directory. Then use the FSL meanTS command to extract data from the PCG mask that we just created. This will print 26 numbers, one per subject. Each number is the contrast estimate for that subject, averaged across all of the voxels in the mask. You can then copy and paste these numbers into a statistical software package, such as R, and run a one-sample t-test to see whether the contrast estimates are significantly different from zero. These results, as you can see, aren't statistically significant. This may be because the anatomical mask is so large that it encompasses several distinct functional regions. In this case, we can instead use a spherical ROI analysis. For example, let's say that we read a paper examining cognitive control effects and that they reported a peak activation at the MNI coordinates 0, 22, 40. Now, the procedure in FSL for creating a sphere from these coordinates is a little weird but stay with me. We first need to convert these MNI coordinates to voxel space, which can be found in Fossilize. Enter the MNI coordinates in these fields down in this window here, and notice how the numbers change over here, and then write down the numbers in the voxel location fields. In a terminal, type the following command. This is a long, dense command, but for now, just note where we have inserted the numbers 45, 73, and 58. What this command does is create a single voxel that we will use as a base for the next command. This command now expands the single voxel into a sphere with the radius of 5 millimeters and labels the resulting sphere as Yan Sphere DMPFC 
0, 20, 44 to indicate the coordinates. Next, type this command, which will binarize the sphere so that it can be read by the FSL commands. This code is all pasted in the More Info box down below for your reference. Load this mask into the Fossilize Viewer to make sure it is where you think it should be. You can hide the other layers to make it easier to see where the mask is. Lastly, we will extract data from this ROI by typing the following command. You can then copy and paste these numbers into R and run a one-sample t-test. Because this ROI is more localized, we have more power to detect the cognitive control effect. And with that, you have completed the fMRI short course. I'm not reading off a script anymore, so I don't sound like a frickin' robot. And I gotta say, this was a lot of work, but a labor of love. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it sometimes. Sometimes I got really upset because things didn't always go so well. But, you know, that's that's what you gotta do. You just gotta keep going forward. Um, even if everything didn't stick the first time, you felt like you may have just been going through some motions or just doing the things that I tell you to do, don't worry about it. That's okay. That's totally normal, especially if this is your first time doing this. And all I can say is just go back, do the exercises, think some more about it, and eventually some of these things will start to congeal in your mind. And congealing is a good thing. It's a very good thing. It's not just for ice cream. It's also for thoughts. And once you're just in the shit for a long time, you'll be able to start to make some connections and more associations. And what I hope, my overall goal, is that you will be able to apply this to your own data and to new data sets. Uh, I'm not going to to BS for too much longer because I want to make sure that the actual time of the video isn't absurdly long. That's uh, you know one of my policies. But give yourself a pat on the back. Take a break. Uh, I'm going to Neil Papali's here in Ann Arbor because... Uh, because I hate myself, man. I just got to stuff my face with some fucking pizza. Oh, God. Yeah, we got this on tape. I don't I don't care. I don't give a shit. Like, anybody's going <laughs> to... Who the fuck is actually going to get this far in this thing to listen to me curse? I don't care, man. Dude, I my ass has been so tight this entire fucking thing. It's just a luxury to just be able to say whatever I want. And for those of you just joining me, there's a warning. You know, I'm, I'm cussing a lot, but... Uh, who cares? Who cares? Anyway, this is the first step on a long, beautiful journey. This isn't just FSL. This is also AFNI. This is SPM. And you're going to love this shit, I guarantee it. Not just fMRI either. Not just fMRI, okay? Because people got to learn how to do other things too. They got to learn how to do diffusion. They got to learn how to do structural analysis. They got to learn how to do computational modeling. They got to be solid on their fucking statistics. You know what I'm saying? You've... Oh, jeez, excuse me. I don't even know where I'm going with that, but I'm just thrilled as punch to be done with this. And I'll be back. And you'll be back because you're fucking addicted. All right? Peace. I love you all. Bye.